how do we compute costs of goods sold for a manufacturer and a merchandiser? Just memorize these formulas. For all adults, so I'm not going to beat it over your head, but it, they're simple formulas. They are beginning merchandise and inventory plus cost of good purchase minus ending inventory equals our cost of goods sold for, for our merchandiser or reseller companies. Manufacturers, we have the beginning finished goods plus cost of good manufactured minus ending finished goods. So that's the difference here, right? We're not looking at purchase because we're not purchasing goods anymore. We're manufacturing the goods. And then instead of inventory, we're looking at finished goods. That's how you flip it. And so then you can see the cost of goods sold statement is slightly different. For merchandiser, you've seen this before in financial accounting versus managerial accounting, we have the cost of good manufacturing. Less finished goods. That's all we're that's all we're flipping here. So instead of merchandise, switch to finished goods, instead of goods purchased, both goods manufactured. Relatively simple. Explain manufacturing activities and the flow of manufacturing costs. So reiterating everything, but let's let's package in a different presentation. We have our raw materials. We purchase our raw materials and we have stuff left over from our previous month. So we have our beginning inventory and our raw material purchases. We use that direct material and direct labor. That's not a resist tricker. Is it direct material and direct labor plus any work that we were already doing in the previous period plus any factory overhead to make some finished goods. That's our completed goods here. Those completed goods are considered goods manufactured. We sell them with selling costs and, and our finished original ending finished goods balance for uh, for cost of goods sold and our income. The idea is that we take the raw materials, we build them, and then we sell them. We sell the finished goods. Our raw materials are beginning inventory. Then we have our work in process. Then we have our finished goods. All of this stuff goes on our inventory, on our financial reports. So we have in our inventory, we have our raw materials, our work in process, and our finished goods. And on our income statement, we have cost of goods sold and our revenue. So this is just a nice summary of how everything goes, where everything goes. Unused material goes on the balance sheet as raw materials. Work in process goes on the balance sheet. And then our finished goods also goes on the balance sheet if they're unsold. So I, I, I like this chart, just follow, follow along. Um, follow along with these. I, I know it can kind of be complex, but just rewatch the video. Right? Raw materials go here. Unused material is on the balance sheet as raw goods. Incomplete work in process is on the balance sheet. And then unsold finished goods is on the balance sheet. Sold is on cost of goods sold and then revenue. Prepare a schedule of costs of good manufacturers and explain the purpose and links to the financial statements. And this is another, just memorize the formula. Direct materials used plus direct labor plus factory overhead equals our total, total manufacturing costs. That makes sense. All the money we spent related to goods equals our manufacturing costs. Plus we add our beginning work in process, right? the stuff we started with and then we subtract out whatever's left over. So we will just do a count at the end and say, oh, we have $100,000 left over. Obviously we can't include that, that's still part of inventory. And so we get our cost of good manufacturing uh, is this formula. So it's all the costs we used, plus whatever was in our beginning inventory, and then we take out whatever's left over. And if, just try to oversimplify it, right? Like I, I really recommend for your, for cognitive understanding, for your just understanding, what were the costs we incurred? What was our beginning balance? And then that should be all the costs that we actually did incur, right? That we haven't expensed yet. And then whatever's left over, well, we can't expense that. It's in our inventory. And that, that's all this is saying. And then you can see here, this is just broken out in what a statement would look like. Our, our direct materials, our beginning balance, our purchases, what we used, less our raw materials, this is the direct material used, or the labor used in the period. Here's the different types of overhead. And then we get our cost of good manufactured. So I would just memorize kind of this, this format. Not going to be 
test it on it too thoroughly, just know, but not yet at least, just practice these differences. We've walked through all of this. So I don't want to spend too much time there. This is just a culmination of all the other slides, right? So final presentation, just go through the previous slides and make sure you understand this flow. But this flow is just a, another example of here, just more detailed. We have our beginning balance, our purchases, and then we summarize direct materials used, direct labor, and then all the overhead. So it's broken up to direct materials, and then it's broken up to what's in process, what's finished goods, and what's the cost of goods manufactured. And this just shows you the flow. The flow. We have our schedule of cost of goods sold, manufactured. So it's not cost of goods sold anymore, it's cost of goods manufactured. It goes into our income statement, and then that goes into our balance sheet. We have our remaining raw materials, working process, and finished goods. Does that make sense? Any questions here? I know I went through these reports kind of quickly, but they really are just summaries, and it's just formatting. At the end of the day, don't get too overwhelmed by these reports. It's all the information we talked about previously. It's just formatting. It's, just, it's still all the same line items. It's just, it's just they formatted it slightly. So I'll stop here.